earlier, Travis here is part of a team, and we're going to meet another member of that team, Dr. Lisa, after the break. She's got a contraption over there. I don't know what it is, but we're going to find out. In a few, this is groundbreaking. This is revolutionary. This is going to save young women's lives. Hey, everybody. Today, the doctors are in. We have another member of the team joining us now from, of course, the new show, The Doctors. This member of the team is Dr. Lisa Masterson, and she's the OBGYN on the So, Dr. Lisa, you're the one that gets probably the most embarrassing questions from patients and, and viewers. The oh. most delicate, shall we say. Absolutely. I've seen and heard them all, and I'm talking about everything, everything from nipple hair to uh, decrease lip, uh, sex drive, I mean everything. I'm sorry, nipple hair made me laugh because, well, never mind. I mean, <laughs> not nipple me! Hair, nipple hair can make you laugh, but that's a great I mean, thing. That is, a, that, is, that is a legitimate question, and that's what's so great about this show. The viewers can connect with you about really embarrassing and delicate questions. That's what I love about this mm. show. I get to have more of a personal relationship with the viewers and it provides a forum for women to be able to ask questions. Women need to know. They want information. And so this gives a way to ask, get all the information that you need. And we're the caretakers for everybody. So you can get information about your children, your husband, everybody. Now, I see you brought something for show and tell today, doctor. Can I ask you what that is? What is that, Lisa? This is the new breast halo pap test. And basically, this is groundbreaking, revolutionary. This is going to save hundreds and thousands of women's lives. And we did a test on one of your viewers. And we have a test to show. Fabulous. Let's, let's, let's watch this. This is a true medical breakthrough for women. Every single woman needs to know about this procedure. Dr. Masterson is talking about the halo breast test. It's like a pap test, only this quick procedure is proving to be a major weapon in the fight against breast cancer. So many women are afraid of mammograms because of cancer and tumors. Uh, the good thing about this test is that they can catch precancerous cells before you even get a tumor. So warm? Yeah. 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 This is a screening test for younger women. It gives women a 10-year jump on being screened for breast cancer. The HALO is taking the fear out of this process for women so that they'll come into their doctor's office and get a five-minute non-invasive procedure that will help screen them whether they're at high risk or low risk for breast cancer. That wasn't bad, five minutes. One of the reasons I'm excited about taking this breast cancer pap test is because back when I was in high school, my best friend's mother died from breast cancer. It was so hard because it, she was like a mother to me. If she would have had the early detection test, then she would probably still be with us today. It's a great screening test because eight out of nine women um, who develop breast cancer don't have a family history. Okay. It's so true. We're, we're trying to uh, pick up those women who aren't already in a high risk range. Mm -hmm. And basically, what it does is it uses kind of like a breast pump, mm -hmm. massage, and, and warm water to collect the cells inside the breast. It's sort of like a pap smear in that we look at those cells and we're trying to pick up precancerous lesions so that we can give um, women you know, earlier care if they develop mm -hmm. breast cancer. So how would you rate the pain on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the worst? I'd say like around a 5. five. So it's still bad. not that bad, okay. Is it the suction or yeah, is it... Yeah, kind of like a suction, a little pinching. Oh, good, we got fluid here. So we're going to try and collect that as much as we can. It takes about four days. Okay. And we'll give you a call and go over the results. What I hope women will take away from this is act now. Don't be afraid to know the truth about your body. Wow. I mean, that's a jaw dropper. Lana is here with us. She's in the front row, and she's actually going to get her results. She hasn't heard them yet. She's going to get them in just a few moments. But, Dr. Lisa, I want to go back. I mean, there's so much in this to talk about. The first thing I learned was that women as young as 25 couldn't get testing for this before right, now. Right, exactly. Women who are from 25 to 40 who usually would just do their own breast exams 
this is going to save their lives because basically 70% of women don't have risk factors. So we don't right. screen those women and we don't really have any way to pick those women up. And if we can pick up breast cancer early, then we can save lives. So this machine is, and it's so much more comfortable than a mammogram. It's warm. Can it, I, even, can yeah, I touch it? It's warm. It massages. Now this would suction. replace getting a mammogram. Instead no, it of going, does not it replace, does not replace a mammogram. That. This is a screening test. Uh -huh. So once you get a, a result back from this it's whether or not you do get a mammogram or an MRI or an ultrasound or you go to a breast surgeon to follow up depending on the result. But now you do preventative squishing you know you got to go and get squished and it's very uncomfortable could you do this instead as a screening to determine whether or not you have to go for a mammogram? This is a screening, this is prior to that. This mm -hmm. is to pick up the cells, the abnormal cells, before you would see something on mammogram. So that, this is I mean, much that, that more felt very warm and pleasant yeah. and not at all if like... If you've had a mammogram, you know it's uncomfortable, horrible. it's painful. A lot of women avoid it for that reason. Mm. But this is much, much better. Absolutely. And you said something really riveting to me in this story when you were helping our viewer. You said um, uh, that you're looking for cells even before tumors exist. Exactly. It's the precancerous cells, just like a pap smear. Huh. So that if you treat cancer earlier, we can save lives. We can prolong lives. Are there drugs out there to help women that may have precancerous cells? Also, yeah, there's chemotherapeutic drugs like tamoxifen, um, things like that that can be used to treat. But there's side effects to that. So they have to weigh what they want to do. So, Lana, are you ready for your results? Are, are you at all nervous about this, or are you really excited that you're one of the first people to benefit from this technology? I'm both. I'm really nervous, because you just never know. And I'm also very excited and so blessed that I am one of the first. And do you, you said you don't have a history of this in your family, but because don't. it happened to a friend of yours exactly. and their family. Exactly. Yeah. And, and Lana's totally typical. Everybody knows somebody who's had breast cancer, and, and I mean, one in eight women. Everybody knows someone. And, um, but I have great news for Lana. Oh. <laughs> Her test came back normal. You're so. gonna... ah! Yay! Now, how often, say, you're between 25 and 40. Congratulations, but Thank how you. often should she now get checked? You know, how, how frequent do we need to go through this process? Yearly, just like your pap smear. So every year that you go so for you your pap smear. So you've got to see smear, your OBGYN, this becomes a part of your normal health care routine. Absolutely, absolutely. It should just start to become routine for everyone. The test only takes about four days to come back. Um, it's just like And she said smear. it was a, a, a little bit of, of discomfort for her, only a five. Mm -hmm. So how, how long does it take for this test to be administered? Five minutes. Five minutes. Five minutes. So five and five. You got a five on the one to ten scale, but it only takes five minutes.